Listen, you can have whatever opinion you want about Logan, but for this video, we're going to mostly check out the editing behind it and maybe give you some insight on how some things were made throughout the video. And what video is this, you might be asking? It's going to be his newest video. I challenged the world's number one Tetris player. He's 14. Now, I was told that the editing and, and storytelling in this is actually pretty good, so we're gonna check this out and yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, this is in 4K, so we got premium quality with this one. I really just want to become Tetris world champion. <laughs> okay, so already, I can already tell how this is going to go. The first 30 seconds to a minute, which is usually how it is for, for YouTube videos, depending on the style. But it's going to be upbeat, and you can already tell by the music that's going. Uh, it's going to be intense for the first stinger. Cold open is what you would call it. Yeah. Okay, well, ties up the game. Has he been drum tested? Hold up, Logan in trouble here. Oh, come on, Logan, you got this. Three, two, one. Yep. I know what you're thinking. Why was I, United States champion Logan Paul, going toe to toe with the greatest Tetris player in the world at the Classic World Tetris Championships? Tetris, the most popular game of all time. Nintendo. All right, so we got a music switch up here, and I can notice that there are some, on some of this stuff, well, obviously this is an old clip, but the other stuff had grain to it. If we go back, hold on. I was about to say, I don't know if it's added or not, but I know it's added because these are screenshots, I believe. So with the greatest. Yes, and so the grain is added, I'm gonna guess for a nostalgic effect, because we're talking about an old game Tetris. Now, obviously, the music switched up into a more, what's the word, retro style when it goes to Tetris. Tetris player in the world at the Classic World Tetris Championships. Tetris, the most popular game of all time. Nintendo introduces Tetris. 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 All right. So we got... A lot of cuts here. As you saw, the logo, there was a match cut with the logo where it went multiple times over different styles. On that Tetris thing right there, it looked like there was a, a prism kind of over it. Perfect game. Created Perfect. in 1985 by a Russian named Alexei Pajitnov, then brought to America and popularized by a rock star named Hank Rogers. With over 200 million units sold, the game has unequivocally changed the world of gaming. And then, after 38 years, a 13-year-old beat the game. In a developing story tonight, a Stillwater teen is credited as being the first person to beat Tetris. Gibson reached level 157 on the... So, a lot of this, yeah, has added, has that font added prism for the nostalgic uh, look and the era it was created in that style, which makes sense. Same thing with the sound design. I'm hearing a lot of sound design here transitioning between stuff and just behind it. So, so far it's pretty, pretty good. News articles. Beat Tetris. Gibson. I've definitely had my fair share of having to add articles and stuff, uh, but that was a pretty unique way to kind of scroll down like that. That's off. Tetris. Gibson reached level 157 on the game and got to the kill screen, which causes the game to crash. <gasps> With new techniques known as hyper-tapping and rolling, players were able to surpass records previously thought to be impossible. Wait, I think I broke my world record. Oh my god! <laughs> we are here in uncharted territory. There it is, Eric! Done it! Now deep down, I'm a nerd at heart. I always have been. I've played on the Game Boy since I was just a wee lad. I've done a ton with Game Boys, Pokemon. I even tried live streaming myself one time. I'm not gonna lie to you, streaming is exhausting. I hated it, but one thing I've always loved was Tetris. I'm addicted to Tetris. With the emergence of a new modern day Game Boy called the Chromatic, the nostalgia and excitement lit up every fiber of my being. This. Okay, so we got a transition there. So you got these, these little pixel pixely screen type of style, pixelated retro fading in here before it transitions into his actual character being a, a retro. And then it, it kind of comes in as blocks, which makes sense. That's, that's what a lot of the transitions are going to be because that's the style. 
So yeah, there's not a lot of out of pocket or out of place stuff that's happened that doesn't flow well with the the video. So far, everything has has stuck to its purpose in the style. This was my opportunity. A mini documentary that profiles me preparing to face off. Okay, I know exactly. I know exactly how that happened. An edi editor, I'm sure there's a effect called pixelate. It's what you use to censor things if you need to. So it's put over this profile. And this I have used before from Envato Elements. You can get it from a lot of other, it's probably in other asset places, but it's, a, it's an overlay uh, type style and it's kind of just masked to go across whenever this goes across. That is I don't know how else I should explain that, but pretty uh, unique way to kind of transition into the the scene. For a second there, I was like, but makes sense. I was me preparing to face off against 13 year old world Tetris champion, Blue Scooty. I just don't know if you Tetris. stand a chance, to be honest. If I stand a chance? My money's on Blue Scooty. My own fiance. People that win these type of competitions, babe, Dedicate their lives. I am dedicating my Scooty, life. Scooty, Scooty, Blooty. <laughs> all he does is play Tetris all day. Kid is built for Tetris. When I was 13 years old, I was one of the top 100 Tetris players in the world on TetrisFriends.com. Logan used to play Tetris for hours. In school, we'd be in the computer lab, Tetris. Go home, Tetris. Bro, you've been playing since <laughs> we were like 10 years old. I would go to sleep and all I would think about and dream about were the shapes. Dropping shapes, storing shapes, flipping shapes, the perfect match, bro. What's this thing we're going to? We met with the Olympic Committee of Puerto Rico Wrestling, and I basically said, how can I get involved? How can I help? If you can survive wrestling, you can survive anything. It's a sport that instills confidence in oneself. For the music has significantly changed into more of an ambient style to go behind it for, for the purpose of, of what's happening. Uh, it's more of an explanation of how everything came about. Throughout the video, here and there, you'll see captions pop up. Uh, and I've mentioned this before, but a lot of the times you'll put up captions, especially if it's this pace, a little bit slower, just so the viewer kind of has something to read and it catches their attention more throughout. Pretty excited about this package. This is a mod retro chromatic prototype. Whoa! <laughs> so immediately I feel... Retro See, there, I don't know, it might have been cool if if they played off the pixeling style and pixelated this instead of blurring it out, because those are two different ways to kind of cover something up. And this is what I was talking about as far as censoring stuff. Uh, if this was pixelated, that would have been a small, subtle thing, uh, but it would have fit the video. That would have been sick. Chromatic prototype. Whoa! <laughs> so immediately I feel the nostalgia. This thing is the modern day Game Boy Color. New technology in an old school console. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? Feels like I'm about to be the world champion. I gotta actually start practicing on this thing. Cause look at my form right now. That music really kicked in pretty uh, dramatically. I feel like it was a little Feels off. like I'm about to be the world champion. I gotta actually start. Yeah, it's slightly, I mean, again, this is nitpicky stuff, but it's slightly off from the cut and it just makes the transition seem kind of off. <laughs> you can tell How's here. It feel? Feels like I'm about to be the world champion. I gotta actually start practicing on yeah. this thing. Cause look at my form right now. I'm all over the place, dude. That's not acceptable. <laughs> What's so funny, bro? <laughs> bro, y'all think it's a <laughs> joke. <laughs> Ronaldo, LeBron, Djokovic, Blue Scooty. Generational greats, and I was determined to become one. What's next for you? Ah, man, I, I really just want to become Tetris world champion. <laughs> I'm sorry, why is that funny? When I say stuff like that, why is everyone laughing at me? You think I can't beat Blue Scooty? You don't think I can beat him? Everyone laughs at me. No, you, I know you You and my own him. fiance? Now, the title is I Challenged. So, I'm just going to call it now. I don't think he won. Because otherwise, if he won... The title would have been different. 
All right. I played a lot. Tetris tournament is uh, in June, bro. It's like two months. My hobby became an obsession. Bro, I'm not kidding. I played this game the entire flight here. I didn't sleep. 324,000. You don't even care. You're not gonna beat Speedy Scooty, Blue Scooter. His name is Scooter, dude. Like, imagine if I'm the US champ and also a Tetris champ. Man, I was flowing there. If my name was Blue Scooty, I'd be sweating right now. WWE Superstar LP is coming to connect those blocks, blocks, blocks. Or do I order the non spicy one? But then I'm sitting there. When I wasn't like, playing Tetris, oh, I was thinking about them, Tetris. And then I combine. <laughs> yeah, that, okay, that's pretty sick. That's actually. Okay, if you look at. Spicy one, but then I'm sitting there. Yeah, that's pretty uh that's pretty impressive. The attention to detail here, you can really tell that they really paid attention to making this. Uh, obviously, you've got the Tetris here. It's keyed out. This could be individual assets that they tracked each one falling. Probably that's how it happened. Uh, but you know, you got a glow over it. And if you look really close in his in both of his eyes. You can see the reflection of it falling and the graphic itself. I would assume that they just took this main graphic, duplicated it, and masked it in his, because he's not moving a lot. So they probably overlaid it or lowered the opacity and masked it around his eyes, both of them. And yeah, left it there and added a, a blur focusing on his face over top of all of this. And that's what's about to happen. Because you can see his eyes moving. Or do I order the non-spicy one, but then I'm sitting there... When I wasn't like, playing Tetris, oh. I was so thinking I about them. Tetris. And then I combined them. Are you listening? Huh? What? Are yeah. you listening? No, absolutely not. You didn't hear anything I just said? I could care less. So I combined them to make... The blocks never went away. My mind became the subject of a parasitic infection of imaginary tetraminos. Yes, that's what these stupid things... And again, here, simple, same style, glow, overlaid on all of these and they added a Gaussian blur over it and zoomed it up more. A lot of these shots are kind of still, so there's not too much tracking that needs to be done or difficult tracking. And uh, actually, I don't know if they did any Deck of a parasitic there. infection of imaginary tetraminos. Yes, yeah, that's what these stupid things are called. Maybe a little bit. And I couldn't get enough of them. Yep. I really wanted to win, so I studied sun- Yep. So there's some transitions here, Tetris style transitions, kind of swiping mask. But I do want to say the music is different and has changed into a more suspenseful style to kind of pick up the pace. I'm going to assume in a second it's going to cut out and he's going to say something that moves on to the rest of the video. Sue's the art of war. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. I know myself, United States champ, drink guy, Jake Paul's brother. But who are my enemies? Called it. Alex T, 15 years old, fastest hyper tapper All in the right. world, holds the world record for the highest score in Tetris. Chugged Parmesan, so, oh, fat. Whoa, Parmesan. Okay, anyway, talk about the edit. Uh, it, it, he's probably gonna go through this with all of them, but we'll cover this this first time, just so we know, right? Again, simple background, uh, an asset, I'm gonna guess that they grabbed, or I mean, could have built out, but I'll assume that they grabbed it from Envato Elements or someplace, and it actually could have been one area, like down here, and then they duplicate it and mask it up here. So you got these graphics that are built out and then this simple cover over top, the clips are playing over here. Uh, and yeah, and once again, another music change into that retro style sound. Because I'm going to assume we've entered that world of the pixelated type style because he's discussing all of this stuff. And so yeah, pretty good choice of of transitioning. Fastest hyper tapper in the world. Holds the world record for the highest score in Tetris. Chugged Parmesan cheese and poured milk on himself when he did it. <laughs> Not sure if he's unstable or just a genius. Dog playing Tetris. Also goes by dog. 2020 and 2021 world Tetris champion. One of the best players in the world. A true dog. Pixel Andy. Brother of the dog Tetris guy. Third yeah, person so in changes, the world to get the kill. It's changing color per person to kind of make it different from each, which makes sense. 
kill screen on Tetris and beat the game. Chris Tang, video game Hall of Famer, Sega champion, game designer, Tetris commentator, legend, Jaws. Prof now, I wonder why. Hall of Famer, Sega champion, game designer, <coughs> Tetris commentator, legend, Jaws. Okay, I <laughs> a I had to pause quick there. Uh, so obviously we got this ring that's moving over and this is built out as well. You got this looped background behind all this, but I wonder why they went here all the way down to here, probably because this is the one, yeah. So they're gonna end on this one and it'll move into what we're doing. Oz, professional skateboarder. Did a crazy jump down a set of stairs. Not sure how that applies here. Has a playable character in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. I'm not too worried about this guy. Quaid, the bad boy of Tetris. Yes, that's a thing. Known for his use of the unconventional- Wait, hold on. They didn't? About this guy. Quaid. Oh, okay. So they didn't start up here. That- My bad. My bad. They started over here and then went across and then they're ending on here. All right. Makes sense. Known for his use of the unconventional center well, veteran. And finally, Willis Gibson, AKA Blue Scooty. 14-year-old prodigy, first person to beat Tetris. Broke the world record, specializes in handheld Game Boy Tetris. The f All right, obviously adding for dramatic effect, the music change, and you got the pixelated fire. Some shadows behind here. Final boss. It was time. But not before meeting the yep. legends who started it all. Something I would add there, I'm not bashing it, all of this stuff is just kind of adding on to what's already been created. But not before- Is some sound design when it comes to this transition, even if it's subtle behind the background, I think that would add to the depth of the effect. That'd be pretty nice. For meeting the legends who started it all. Hey, Rogers, this is the coolest thing ever. Alexi, no way, bro. The person who invented Tetris and the person who brought Tetris to the United States. I watched the Tetris movie. I saw you guys in character. Now I'm seeing you in real life. You guys have taken so many hours of my life. We gift it to you, not taken from Dude, you. Dude, you're really so Russian, just like in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see some high level Tetris. I believe they're getting the players ready. You guys know I'm competing. He thinks he's gonna win the tournament. That'd be pretty crazy for a part-time Tetris pro. Part-time wrestler, I'm a United States champ. But, <laughs> what but then reality Hit me like a ton of Tetris. You can hear a small whoosh, or not really a riser, but whenever it does a freeze frame like that. <laughs> which is a, a nice, nice, subtle uh, sound design. Reality hit me like a ton of Tetris shaped bricks. There's one boom, Tetris for dog, and another one into the lead, separated by 4,000 points, and both players are knocking down Tetrises. They move so much faster than me. Andy has built up a 100,000 point lead with our highest score of 506,000. I've made a massive error. Nina was so right. People that win these type of competitions dedicate their life. I need a break. I need a break. You gotta move those fingers. This is no different than WWE. You're jumping off the top rope, you're jumping off the top block. Blocks. Connect the blocks, Tetris. Get four at a time. Stay calm, breathe. Hey, there it is. It's so, so dramatic. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. The, the, some key framing and the fade in as far as the music goes, transitioning into the, the next shot. And there it is, and he takes it! And this one is over, it is Queen! Watching his ticket to the next round! You're a phenom. I've done my research, bro. Good. I have. So. <laughs> I say you're the bad boy of Tetris. I'm also the prettiest, so. I you definitely both. are. Yeah, this looks good. You look good, Quay. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I made the towel joke earlier. He doesn't really need an introduction, but we'll give it to him anyway. He is the first game crasher. Blue Scooty! I don't know how to say this. I could beat him. I'm watching his gameplay, bro. I'm scoping it out. What is his weakness? Blue Scooty getting it done in a sweep. I'm up next. Hey, you got this, kid. I know. Go out there and beat these children. I know. To Thanks, bro. Thanks. Who are we playing against? Chris Chow! I wonder why that's just caught me. The other times they showed this chart, there was no background. It was kind of over top 
some of the, I wonder if they're going to go back and forth between no background and other background. We'll see. I'm up next. Hey, you got this, kid. I know. Go out there and beat these children. I know. To Thanks, bro. Thanks. Who are we playing against? Chris James! Who is this mystery opponent that we have been touting for so long? He is a maverick and a pioneer. And he is certainly a United States champion, Logan Paul! Everybody, what in the world is happening? Is this real life? How you feeling, bro? Pretty good, man. Let's do this. Chris Tang versus Logan Paul. Three, yeah. two. Some sound design there with graphic and narration from the people throughout. You know, some slow-mo shots there with the music. Yeah, I mean, just keep going. One. Tetris! Logan okay. Game one, I'm gonna assume that this is for all the ones that Logan is playing, and it kinda kinda stopped there, took a breather, and starting again. Hey. Logan Paul already stacking up high, just really trying to get those pieces Music down as really fast retro. as possible. And he's the first to get the Tetris on the board. Chris Tang gonna get a Tetris. Hold up, Logan in trouble here up at the top. Oh Things are getting goodness. dangerous. Hold that left side. He needs a bar. Hold oh, on, the fuck out! Game over. I blew it. And Chris, and Chris Tang. Tang! There it is! He takes game number one! The environment, the competition, the blocks, I cracked under pressure. There's a there's a subtle sound behind here that I can't... It's kind of like wind, but more ambient when it comes to this section because it's pretty dramatic. I mean, he just lost. Thank God it was best two out of three. You're not out of it yet. Hey, that's just one! I knew I had to pull it together if I wanted to become world champion. Gotta get my head in the game. Three! And just like that, two! Everything clicked. One! Boom! A Tetris for Logan! And Logan Paul is just continuing to get faster and faster. And oh, Chris Hank is in danger of topping out! Can oh he my survive? Goodness. He's doing the best that he can! Oh no, the block out! Oh, oh my player. goodness, Logan has tied it up one to one! I entered okay. flow state. <laughs> Another Tetris over there for Logan. Make some noise! Yeah. There it is, there's another Tetris, and he's just continuing to maintain this left well. Absolutely wild right. athleticism. Oh, that's a beautiful setup. <laughs> okay, um, one, the music obviously is more of a upbeat, picking up the pace, not really suspenseful. It's more upbeat because obviously he's winning here and very the pacing is very quick here to kind of get through uh, to the final opponent. And yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. The effects, there's a lot of zoom ins and things with blurs and all that kind of stuff. It's looking pretty good. Tetris ready. Last 10 seconds, what can Chris Tank do? We're gonna slam the door shut here, Sharky. Uh. And there you have it, advancing to the next round. Logan I had done it. I was moving on to the semi-finals against the man himself. Scoo okay. Beauty. First person to beat Tetris. All right. We got a mask transition here. Like I said, there's a lot of this blurred edges here that's going on. Uh, and then obviously... Scoo Beauty. Now... Something that's that's subtle. Finals against the man himself. Uh, I mean, I guess it just depends on, on your preference, but I probably would have zoomed in on everything because you can tell here that they're in this area, you got the background. I would have added an adjustment layer over top and then zoomed in. I was moving on to way. the semi-finals against the man himself. So they're more isolated with the background, as you can tell here, because it would have been, it would have just been the stars. Scoo Bloody. Yeah. First and then we got a mask. To beat Tetris. A simple mass transition wherever somebody walks over. Scoo Bloody. First person to beat Tetris. My money is not to What's up, bro? Just step, just step back, bro. I don't want any problems. 
I don't want your problems, bro. Hey, we cool. Hey, we cool. Hey, we cool, bro. I'll see you out there, bro. He's laughing at his face. the last guy was coming to you. I did. And you had one bad match, yeah. right? I don't want you to think about the bad match too much, but it, it was really bad. The audience was laughing. 100%. It was like one of those situations. Yeah. Try to get it off your mind. Don't think about yeah. it. Just it, one last high. It was bad. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. But I got something to cheer you up before your next match. These are the prime athletes. Oh, no way. What's happening, Logan? What's up, Logan? Hey, Logan, it's Alicia here. Hey, yo, Logan, good luck. Heard you've been killing it so far in the Tetris tournament. Love to see it. I wish you all the best in your upcoming tennis matches. Good luck on Tetris. Keep it rolling. You got this. I know you've been try hard and hard. <laughs> go kick butt. And let's go, Prime, baby. Drake Prime. The Prime family always sticks together. Oh, bro. I gotta do it now. The whole Prime team's relying on me. Let's get out there, dog. Get out there and get this win, buddy. Let's get out there. Players, you're about to embark on this major matchup. Logan, you had a few words here with Scooty right before the match. Scooty was pressing me out in the hallway. Uh, I told him I'm just here to play and I didn't want any problems. But right about now, Scooty, I'm gonna be a problem. <laughs> they are about good to go. Three, two, one, attack Paul did a bit of a early more of an uplifting style music i'm going to like i said earlier in the video i don't think he's going to win but it's probably more uplifting right now because he's going to end up not winning and so it'll play off of that kind of you know you did your best we'll see dig here see this is getting dicey <laughs> Post to Logan Paul being the problem. Looks like he's got the problems. Yeah, he's got the problems. Oh, but a missed up for Z. And oh, he's got oh, he's done. Hit. Scooty takes game number one. Logan's got to walk it off. Come on, Logan, you got this. Let's lock in, bro. I regret nothing. <laughs> Paul's tournament life is on the wild. line here. Yeah, very tricky pieces. Logan is not too happy about that. Oh! 305 for Scooty. We're looking at almost a 200,000 point Ooh, lead. I shouldn't even be here, bro. Minute left to play. Last minute to play. Now Logan Ball has a few seconds left. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Blue Scooty defeats Logan Paul in the semifinals. Yep. Blue Scooty is the toughest opponent I've ever faced. He's a Tetris legend. He's a pop culture icon. Okay, bro. Thank you. What, what did he score? 479. He scored 479. <laughs> Wait, did this guy just hold out a dollar bill? It's gonna be okay, bro. Thank you. What, what did he score? What? <laughs> he scored 479. Yeah. Logan, there was a point. Has he been drug tested? 100. percent I'm contesting that with the commission. It's like it's almost like he's exactly as good as they say he is. It's like he's the best in the world. It's almost like he's the best in the world. <laughs> I was humbled to be in the presence of such greatness. And although Blue Scooty ultimately placed second, the Tetris community had been taken for quite the ride. Sometimes our heroes are really just people. People like you. People like me. People with an extraordinary amount. Exactly like what I said. I called it. I knew it was going to go this direction. Uh, same thing with the music. It's more inspirational. I knew it. I knew it. Amount of passion for things that they love. You know, maybe me and Scooty aren't so different after all. <laughs> so here's Scooty a, that aren't was pretty, so different. <laughs> uh, that was a that was a pretty pretty clean transition there, fade. Different after all. Because I guess they do look pretty similar. So here's the new friends, forever memories, and the greatest game of all time. Three, two, one, set What? Logan Paul. Logan Paul edition. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna tell you I told you so, but I told you so. You okay? <laughs> Whoa, that was really fast. That title at the end. Anyway, yeah. All right, the overall style of it stayed true to the nostalgic design of obviously the game and how old all of this stuff is, the retro type of look. And overall, it was a good edit. I challenged, I was right about the title too. I challenged the world's number one Tetris player and he did not win, he challenged him though. So if you want me to react to anything else, 
uh, just leave a comment. And if you want to check out another reaction, you can click over here. And that will be all. So I will see you at the next edit.